Hi there, here's a pivot table and chart working in FileMaker. As you can see, we've started off with a brand versus territory, and this little table is modular, which means you can just move it around and plonk it on a layout. Um, I'm demonstrating that right now by putting it on tabs to show you that it's not in um, table view or list view. Um, here we have the Y dimension is, selection, is selected as brand, the X dimension is selected as territory. Um, we can put on the chart a different brand, brand Y for instance, or if we like, we can go to brand Z and put that on the chart. Uh, more importantly, we can change the dimension from territory, east, north, south, west, and put it down to say 12 months worth of sales. And as you can see, profit is selected. So we're looking at profit at the moment. And if we look at brand Y, we can see that there's actually been losses made um, in February and May. And it also shows up in the table down below as well. Uh, before we had territory on the X dimension, we could actually put territory on the Y dimension if we like. And now what we're seeing is the 12 months worth of sales broken down by territory. And as before, we can now look through the territories on the chart. Um, not only that, but instead of looking at profitability, we can look at quantities. And there we have uh, volume sales in units showing on the chart. And if we go back to brand, um, we can demonstrate the fact that this is actually linked into the raw data. So this is refreshing in real time. Let's go to the raw data. And on this first row, we've got 100 units being sold in uh, January, and it's brand X. So let's make that a lot different, make it 10,000 units. Go back to our pivot table, and what we find are those 10,000 units sitting there in January 2012. So we can go back there, take those extra units out, back to our pivot table, and as we would expect, it's back to normal. What's probably most impressive about all of this is that this can all be built using a very simple structure. All you need are six fields, and four of those six fields are just simple text fields. The other two fields are the calculations that do all the work. If you'd like to find out how, contact me, Luke Rochester, by going to my website, pocketkpi.com. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.